with you. Looking at Grayson, obviously, see him getting shots up, but that doesn't mean he will or won't play. What's his status for tomorrow? Uh, he'll be listed as questionable. Uh, he did some light movement today, but not a full, full participant in practice. Is there anything that, as far as progress being made from, from Saturday's game to now? He's been getting treatment nonstop. You know, so hopefully the extra day between games should help. Immediate adjustments. It seems like one would be uh, being able to, to to get Booker free. Um, I see, obviously, him doing a little bit of that now. What are ways that you've seen in the past that is able to free him up? Yeah, we we discussed a lot of ways. I'm not going to share that with the with the T Wolves, but um, you know, it's one of our, our focal points. We just got to move the ball, you know, and um, and get great shots. You know, whether that means, uh, you know, the defense is giving us a lot of threes, and we'll take a lot of threes if if uh, if they're taking that away and enforcing us inside. We're, you know, we're a great mid-range shooting team. We're a great paint attacking team as well. Overreactions after game one of a series. What's the mentality like among the guys in terms of being able to bounce back? Yeah, healthy respect for this basketball team that, that we're playing. Uh, we know that they, they didn't play their best basketball in our three regular season matchups. When we saw that. Uh, what they're capable of in game one and uh, but we're still very confident that uh, we can play better than we did in game one and uh, very confident in the matchup. Is Jane McDaniels so challenging as a perimeter defender? I know you've been complimentary of their perimeter guys. He's outstanding. Yeah, he's, 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 uh, his length, his athleticism, his quickness, his speed, um, you know, he's a, he's a great defensive player. So, um, you know, we gotta make sure we attack him the right way. What did you see from the smaller lineups when you watched it back on film? It seemed like that fourth quarter in particular was pretty successful for you guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it could be even better. You know, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lineup that is, is built to rotate in, in double teams, and we didn't rotate well. Um, it's also meant to space out the defense, and uh, but you got to take care of the basketball. You can't just throw, throw the ball to the defense uh, each time. So we've had success with that throughout the course of the year. Uh, something we're confident in. How important is it to get off to just such a quick start, especially on the road? 48 minutes. <laughs> You know, I mean, whether you start strong, finish strong, uh, we got to win the 48-minute game. You know, obviously, uh, you know, it, it helps to get a, get off to strong first quarters, which we, we did a lot in the regular season. Um, you know, but we're focused on the, the totality. And how important is it to match the physicality, if not bring that first, as opposed to letting the Timberwolves kind of set that tone in that regard? Yeah, it's part of winning in the playoffs. Okay, if you lose the physicality battle, you're going to lose the game. So, yes. Coach, when you look at uh, Devin was saying that about doubling, Edwards, like, okay, just force him to take tough shots because once you double, then the ball starts moving for them. What's the balance in doubling him to get the ball out of his hands, but then playing him straight up to forcing him into those difficult? Yeah, just, you just got to read the game, you know what I mean, and see, see how he's playing. But, guy, you know, certain players uh, get into a zone. You know, you, you have to shut their water off, and, and you know, it's, it requires uh, certain double teams. But, um, you know, we'll, uh, you know, we've had a lot of discussions about that. I'm not going to give the Timberwolves our plan. Uh, but it's always a bounce. Because it seemed like early in the game, kind of forced him into turnovers early, and then that's kind of what's been the formula in defending him is in getting him to. Yeah, he's got to see, he's got to see five defenders. Yeah. Coach, you got a local kid in Roddy on this team, and he's not part of the rotation. What do you see in him uh, since he's come over? Yeah, he's a heck of a young player. You know, uh, very, very tough, very smart player. Um, you know, someone that's going to help us in the in the future. Uh, someone that if uh, we get injuries or foul trouble, I'm confident in throwing him in the game. Um, this fit into our, our culture uh, by being a high character guy, uh, a likable guy. You know, our guys really enjoy being around him, and um, you know we're excited about what he's going to what, what he brings to the table. When it comes to that physicality and intensity, what exactly would you like to see perhaps a little bit more from this team? Uh, in terms of physicality, mm -hmm. what exactly? being, being more physical. <laughs> they, these guys know exactly. Uh, you know, the ways that we can be more physical. Yeah. Before losing the game one, responding to game two, what's been your formula or mentality of handling a game one loss, knowing that, you know, it's still early in the series? Just evaluate whether you win or lose. You know, there's, uh, you know, there's things you, you can repeat and things that you need to do differently, you know, in a, in a loss or a win. So, um, you know, remove the result from that and, and get ready to win game two going to zone when you guys did go small for a bit there what did you how would you evaluate the way you guys executed in those scenarios pretty good there's some things we can do better 